Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Frazier. I'm a clinical psychologist and a professor of psychology at John Carroll University. I'm also a research professor in pediatrics and psychiatry at SUNY Upstate in Syracuse, New York, and I'm also uh, a member of the National Board at Autism Speaks. I was really motivated to get into developmental disabilities and autism and genetic syndromes because of my son. Um, he's 19 now, but when he was two, he was diagnosed with autism. We suspected he had a genetic condition. Eventually, it wasn't until he was about 15, we were able to identify that he had a specific genetic syndrome. So I really shaped my career, um, both as a clinical psychologist and as a researcher, um, to focus on autism and neurogenetic syndromes. That's really how I got into this. And it's just been a passion of mine and a professional uh, calling for me. I started working on online measures and we really, our, our project here is focused on developing new online measures of two different types. One are questionnaire measures, which are very traditional. People are very familiar with those. You fill out questionnaires to describe your child's or your loved one's um, specific set of challenges, weaknesses, or strengths as well. Um, and then the other one is to collect data directly from the webcam. You know, as people are getting more and more accustomed to using a webcam, we thought, well, this is a great opportunity because we can use the webcam to actually track the person's gaze while they watch the screen and we present information to them. We can track where they're looking, exactly what information they're processing and also their facial expressions while they're doing these different kinds of watching these videos or doing different tasks. And so that's really the aims here was just to develop these measures, make sure that they can be used with patients and families, make sure they're scalable and that they make sense for individuals with neurogenetic syndromes. So for our research, we were focused on a number of different genetic syndromes that we thought would be really interesting to study. But a lot of them, the reason here was because as they develop in their research processes, they need ways to really understand their, their patient population, the individuals with genetic changes. And they also, as they develop new interventions and supports, wanted to have outcome measures so that they can use those outcome measures to identify what's working, what's not working. If there's a medication or a biological treatment or even a psychosocial treatment or behavioral treatment, they want to have outcome measures that are going to detect change sensitively so that they know if those new interventions are working. Our work shows that families could really benefit from this as we develop it further. So for example, in the research realm, if you have a child with a neurogenetic syndrome or you're somebody with a neurogenetic syndrome, you want to know what's coming down the pike in terms of new interventions, new biological treatments that could help you to function better, that could help you to, to increase your quality of life. And so our tool is going to be essential for that research. It's going to be a really important part of understanding the value of different interventions. But even on the clinical side, you know, you may live in a place where you can't easily travel to an expert. Or, you know, maybe the experts in Boston and you live in, in uh, Kansas City, you know, so getting to that expert once a year is the maximum you can do, or, or maybe once every other year. And so our measure allows that clinician to then collect data from you at home and monitor your progress at home. And we can get really rich data without having to have you come to clinic. And this is especially true for kids, right? Where coming to a new clinic with new people and just a whole new environment is not an easy thing to do. And to get data in that environment is really tricky. And so if we can get data at home where that child is comfortable, where they feel, you know, like that, that this environment is conducive to them, then, then that's even better for us. So we think these, these measures that we've created are going to be great tools for research and for clinical practice in the future. The next steps for our research is really to... Um, that further validate our measures, use them with more patients, more individuals with neurogenetic syndromes, um, get more data, especially on individuals that, with greater challenges, because we need to make sure that we've really tuned the measures up to be as appropriate as possible for them. Um, and we also want to use the measures longitudinally. So the next studies are going to be very long term, longer term longitudinal studies, because we want to show that our measures are sensitive to change. And that as people develop, as they grow, maybe there's a new intervention or support that they've received. So 
that longitudinal research with larger samples is really the next step for us. One thing I'd really love people to know and to think about is, and I have a son with neurogenetic uh, challenges, is that research like ours is sometimes challenging, difficult to do. Maybe it's hard in the middle of a tough week, but I'd really love to encourage people to participate, um, to be involved, um, keep on the lookout. You can go to clinicaltrials.gov. You can go obviously through Research Match, Searchlight, Spark, all these wonderful recruitment sources. You can get connected to your own neurogenetic syndrome foundations. But I would really encourage you to think about participating because we can't do this kind of research to benefit patients and families without you guys. And I know it's hard. Believe me, I know it's hard to have your, your individual participate, especially in the middle of life and everything that's going on. So I just really want to encourage people to do that. Uh, researchers like me, we need you. We need the great data that you guys provide. We, we can't help you without it. So um, that's my big push here is just um, take time out of your day, communicate with us, let us know how we can help you and make the research more applicable as well. But participate, participate, participate.